digging me Every time I touch that track it turns into gold Everybody knows I got the magic in me When I hit the floor the girls come snapping at me Absolutely. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Do You Believe It or Not? Absolutely. I'm your co-host, Abby Malco. I'm your co-host, Tanner Lee. It's episode number 13. As you can see, Tanner is here with us today because <clears throat> he tried to go to a Ben & Jerry's, but he ate too much ice cream. He took more than his three pints for his daily serving, so he got fired. It's very true. It's too good not to take more than three pints. I mean, they gave you three good pints of free ice cream. Good thing you came back to us, otherwise I'd be here by myself. Yep. I was asked to leave and take my um, ice cream eating talents back to Rochester, <laughs> Indiana. So See what you can do with here that. Here I am. So, um, Abby, I think you should start you us off You want me to start this, this time? Yeah. All right. My first list will be the five common nightmares that we all have. Ooh. So this is nightmares that everybody suffers from. You can tell me if you've ever had this dream or not. Number five is everybody has a nightmare about their teeth falling out. Don't believe I've ever had a nightmare about my teeth falling out. I think I've had nightmares of like being hit in mm -hmm. the teeth and like, oh, there go my two front teeth. Like but that. Not that's all not all of them? No, not all of them. But the reason that people have this nightmare is because they fear mortality. Really? Yes. That's, that's the subconscious science behind the dream. Number four, being unprepared for a test. Yes. Has that I've, ever happened yeah. before? Yeah. I'm pretty much unprepared for most of my tests. <laughs> I usually dream, like, we always have, like, to time our miles for, like, softball Indiana State, and, like, you have to get up at 5 a.m. the next morning, so, of course, you never sleep the night before. And I always either dream that, like, my clock is, mm -hmm. like, spinning out of control or that, like, I passed it in, like, five minutes or whatever, and I wake up thinking that I'm done, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Dang it. So yeah. that's kind of, yeah, like yep. a test. Yep. So I feel like everybody's had one of those dreams. Number three, falling from a high place. Yeah, I think everybody's had those. Uh, and falling into like a black sky. Uh -huh. It's never ending. And then, but usually you wake up before you hit. Yeah. Because they say if you <clears throat> die in a dream, then you wake up. Well, you don't wake up because you're dead. So I don't, I don't know. Well, like I see whenever I'm falling, my body like twitches. Yeah. I literally like wake up. Well, and, and, like, the sure. subconscious science behind that is that falling from a high place means that you're, like, nobody likes to lose control. And when you're free-falling into darkness, you don't have any control. So I guess if there's, like, something in your life you don't feel like you're controlling, then you'll dream about that. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There was one time that, like, I dreamed of, like, having, like, there was a fire in my dream, like, three nights in a row I had, like, dreams about fire. And I looked it up in, like, a dream book, and it said if you dream about fire and, like, a dangerous, like, atmosphere then that means you're like really upset or worried about something in your hmm. life that's really so interesting maybe, i know maybe dreams tell you something number two everybody dreams about being locked up or trapped have you ever had that one not that i can remember but i probably have or the dreams sometime. where you're like needing to sprint away from something and like your body doesn't yeah. move that means that you're regretting life choices Ooh. so maybe you ate too much Ben and Jerry's ice cream and <laughs> never. you regret that, never. you all have a dream about being locked up. And the number one nightmare that everybody has, or most people have, is public nudity. <laughs> have you ever had that dream? I think everybody has probably. I don't know if I, I've never like dreamed that I was in my underwear in public. I've just never That's like, not nudity. had that terrible dream. Nudity's like nothing on. But yeah, I've never had either dream. Like right. just being out in public but that that means that you are feeling vulnerable or like you're hiding something and you're scared of being found out oh, wow that's why you dream of public nudity no awesome. i've never had that dream so now if i ever have a dream with any of these things i know what they you mean. know what they mean yes like or that. google what they mean maybe it's true maybe it's false either way it made me feel better after i googled mine i like that i like mm -hmm. the, the list my first list of this show is three future fut futuristic ways uh, we're going to de defeat summer, like the summer heat, the su summer weather. So we will beat summer. Yep. Um, the number three, re th the third reason on this list is uh, robots will uh, work on our lawns for us. Ooh, that's good slash bad because 
like I know young kids like to have like mowing businesses, mm -hmm. but then like me, who I have to mow my own yard for my parents, that then I would yep. be okay with the robots. And they've already created little robots that will like water your flowers for you. Oh, that's cut cute. The, cut little patches of grass. So. I feel like not even with our lawns, just our whole future is mm -hmm. like going to be robot driven. Uh, it'll be interesting. About 20 years, there's scary. probably going to be a lot more stuff yeah. like that than what there is now. That's but, um, scary. The number, uh, the second reason, or the second way we're going to defeat the summer heat on my list is uh, there's a special foam that will keep our beers colder longer. Oh, that's just fabulous. They, they've just... already uh, come out with it, like at a Dodger Stadium where the Dodgers play and a few other places. Um, the foam comes out kind of like a margarita would come out into the cup, like that shape with like how a margarita's topped off. The yeah. foam's topped off on top of your beer like that, and the foam has no taste. It's supposed to keep your beer colder for at least 30 minutes longer. Than really? Mm -hmm. That is pathetic like that they have put that much thought beer. into yeah. the coldness well, of beer. Beer's a pretty popular thing. It makes a lot of money, especially yeah. at sporting events and I events so. like that. So, uh, Nothing like a bunch of drunk Yankees fans. That's always a good time. Ouch. <laughs> drunk Yankees fans better than a drunk White Sox fan because at least we're winning games. Right, right, right. And the uh, number one way we're going to defeat the summer and, and the future is um, we'll soon uh, be able to ward off mosquitoes with a magic patch. Woo! I hate mosquitoes. There's a patch that they're um, testing right now. It's called the Kite Patch. And the way it works is you put it on your skin and it uh, releases chemicals that mess up with the mosquitoes' uh, carbon dioxide receptors. The mosquitoes actually fly right past you. So they don't even know you're there. Yeah, they just kind of fly. Because that's so much better. Shh, mm -hmm. nasty, sticky, off. Yeah. Sticky off. Then you, you have smell to... like it. I know that they've like made improvements yeah. to it, but still, it's just the fact that, still oh, got got the mosquito spray. Yeah, exactly. That would yep, be nice. So. Slap mm. a patch on there. All right, my second list is just a five fun fact list. Fact number five. In the Persian Empire, men used to debate ideas twice. First, when they were drunk. Second, when they were sober. And if the idea sounded good in both states of mind, it was considered a good idea. Oh. Is that about crazy? That's really weird. <laughs> just how do they... Is that an excuse to get drunk, I guess? I guess so. I don't know. I, I, just, <laughs> I feel like anything sounds good to either way, so who knows if it works. Question, I mean, fact number four... Nomophobia. Do you know what that means? No. Nomophobia is the fear of being without your phone or losing your phone signal. I think you have nomophobia. I do not have nomophobia. I'm without my phone all the time, especially because our farm has no cell signal. So I am not attached to my phone. Right. But I feel like many people in our society would have nomophobia. Mm -hmm. Fact number three. McDonald's is no longer the world's largest restaurant chain. Really? What is? Yes. Don't look. Or to guess Burger King. Nope. Subway. Oh, that makes sense. Cause especially, like, if you think about it, a lot of towns have multiple subways mm -hmm. more than, like, multiple food, like McDonald's restaurants. So, mm -hmm. I guess Subway is taken over. Fact number two, there are more than 40,000 different species of spiders. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. 40,000 species of spiders. I wonder out of that many, like, how many are poisonous. I bet quite a few. I don't know. <laughs> and my least favorite fact, because it doesn't pertain to me, because I don't watch horror films, but watching horror films can burn up to 200 calories. That's as much as a half-hour walk. Wow. So by watching a horror film, you burn 200 calories, because your, quite like, heart rate is, is whatever. It's huge. quite a few. Mine would be from, like, flipping the pillow up my face and back down, because I just don't. Don't do scary movies. So scary movies would give you nightmares, and then... Yes! So my lists are intertwined. And then I would have the nightmare of being locked up while scary murderers coming after me. There you go. It ties in. My second list is um, five oh my goodness facts. OMG. OMG. Um, the largest uh, fruit crop on earth is grapes, followed by bananas. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Not you a big fan of grapes? I do like grapes, like except grapes. I am a picky grape eater. Like, they have to be the hard grapes. I don't like mushy grapes. Okay. You like text, both purple thing. slash red mm -hmm. slash green? Not. Yes, I'm not. I don't care the I like color the green of my ones. grape. I like the green ones a lot, the sour. Mm -hmm. um, sarsaparilla is the root that flavors root beer. Ew. So root beer is really made from a root? Yeah, sarsaparilla. They get the flavor Did you know that root? before this list? I actually did. Ew! I guess I just thought uh, root beer is a random name, huh? Yep. 
sarsaparilla. So next time, if you're drinking a mug root beer or an A&W root beer or root beer from B&K, uh -huh. you know, with the frosted mug, the good stuff, you're drinking some sarsaparilla. Ew, thank you for That's reminding me That's a funny word, sarsaparilla. I'm going to name my kid that, sarsaparilla. Uh, <laughs> no. I wouldn't do that. It sounds I mean, like a princess name. You might as well name your kid hashtag or Facebook if you're... Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. That's... <laughs> Cinderella. Right, fine. fine. <laughs> um, the pilgrims actually ate popcorn during the first Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, that was one so of the, the whole... snacks they had. Well, they had the Thanksgiving feast, but they oh. also had popcorn. Really? Yeah, they popped the... Was it so hot out that it just popped the popcorn, popcorn they were supposed to eat? I'm not sure. It really just... It was pretty much a plain fact, but hmm. uh, I thought that was interesting. So while we were eating popcorn at the movie theaters and... They're eating it the very first Thanksgiving the, dinner. The Indians at the beautiful. very first Thanksgiving. It's beautiful. So, um, and did you know Orville Redenbacher? You know, you know him? I Old did, Parker? yeah. We talked the he's other day. Purdue, Purdue graduate. And yeah. I really hope you didn't talk with him the other day because he's been dead for a few years now. <laughs> <It was laughs> so, joke, Tanner. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Abby's talking to the dead over here. She sees dead, dead people like the sixth sense. I don't like so, that movie. Um... The next fact on this list is crocodiles eat stones to dive deeper Ew. in the water. On average, crocodiles contain 10 to 15 pounds of stone in their stomachs. So it never comes back out? I don't know that much information. Don't really <laughs> well, want no, to know. Well, no, but listen, but, uh, listen. Like, if I have, I eat a stone to dive, then I'm going to want to get rid of it yeah. so I can go back up. So, like, do they, it, throughout their lifetime, do they just keep going deeper in the water and they <sighs> don't come back up as quickly? You're going to have to ask a crocodile expert or something. I mean, uh, that makes sense, though. They keep the stones in their stomach so they can yeah. dive deeper and get their prey or whatever, hide but I guess the maybe their arms get stronger when they swim up. I'm sure they have a lot of different stomachs than we do. Yeah, so, yeah, whatever. I mean. And my last, uh, oh my goodness, fact of the day is Canada almost joined the United States in, in the year 1777. Really? Yeah, the so whole the country. entire continent almost joined the United States. Almost just the United States. It actually got pre approved by some uh, um, political members of the United States, but for some reason it never came intact. Hmm. And then there was a couple wars in the 1800s, and yeah. And Canada's that, always neutral. They wouldn't have done all the wars we've done. Yeah, but. They're a um, nice country. Yeah. Hmm. At least we think so. Some Americans really don't like them, but. Uh, oh. I don't have a problem with them. I don't, I don't have a problem with anyone, except you, actually. Ouch. <laughs> Very ouch. So, I'm just um, kidding. You had a good list. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. list was good. So, um, like always, if you have a list that you'd like to see of your own on our show, please contact our email, which is channel4 at rtcol.com. Or, like always, call RTC at 223-2191. And now Abby's got to go write her own book on what dreams mean and all about her dreams she's had throughout her life. So uh, I will let you know when I publish it. Check it out. And we can we can even bring it on the show. There if could I get probably it done. be some very disturbing dreams on there. You might want to keep it away you from. Might be uh, aware. As long as I know the scientific behind it. That's from all people that get scared easy. But if you have any <laughs> dreams, questions about your dreams, here's your let dream expert right here. Let me know. Abigail Nicole Malco. We'll right let here. you know next show how that goes. Thanks for watching.